Hey everyone, Andy here from Tech OBS, and today I'll be showing you how you can update the BIOS in your motherboard, specifically Gigabyte motherboards. So first things first, what you want to do is to grab your motherboard model. So if you don't know how to do it, you just go to DX Diagnosis, which is DirectX uh, Diagnosis, and uh, go over here where it says System uh, Model and there you'll find the model of your motherboard. So mine is uh, B450M S2H. So uh, once you have found the model of your motherboard, all you need to do is just Google it. Let's just type uh, gigabyte, gigabyte B450M S2H. And you just have to go to the uh, uh, manufacturer's link right here, uh, the B450M S2H right over here. So mine is B450M S2H Revision 1.0. If you don't know what this means, it basically means that Gigabyte made uh, different versions of the same model. And then what you're going to do is to go to the support page. Um, I think, no, it's not this one. Okay, it's over here. So um, go to the support page and then select your OS or operating system. I have uh, Windows 10 64-bit, so I'm going to select that one. And now scroll down until you can find something that says BIOS. Yep. Now click on that and locate the you know the latest version you have. But bear in mind, you actually need to read the descriptions before you update your motherboard BIOS to a you know any version you want. So for example, uh, if I want to update my motherboard BIOS to F50, which I have, let's say I have less than F50, like for example, F41 or F42 or F40. So I want to update it to F50. Uh, then you have to read the notes. So the notes here indicate that um, uh, in the red letters here, it says before updating BIOS to this new version, you must follow the steps as detailed under BIOS F40 description. So <laughs> I think it's description. So um, let's go to F40 and read those notes before updating it to F50 as it has been described over here. Um, so uh, let's go to F40 and then it says if you're using QFlash utility to update BIOS, make sure you have updated BIOS to F32 before F40. So you need to update it to F32 before going to F40. But um, let's say if you have like, uh, pretty much you don't have any two of these. You have like F30 or F31. You need to update it to F32 and then to F40. But if you have F32, then that's good. You just update it to F40. And then you can go ahead and move all the way to F50. Uh, once you've you know, uh, read all the notes here, you can just go ahead and download um, the BIOS. So for, for mine, uh, it is this one. So I'm just going to click on this one. Uh, it's going to download. Just do be careful when updating your BIOS because it's not a it's not a funny game. It's this thing is serious is a serious work, and if you screw up something, then you might probably break your motherboard. So definitely proceed with caution. So once you have downloaded your BIOS update, all you need to do is to extract it. Now next, what you're gonna do is to cut this thing into your pen drive. So let me just go to the USB pen drive thingy and then all you need to do is just drag this over here and simple as that I think I kind of made a copy you can just um, delete this one you don't need that so that's pretty much it now there are some rules that you need to know so um, if you have a pen drive that is higher than 32 gigs then you're gonna have a little trouble installing uh, updating the BIOS as if you go, let's say if you go to properties, and the, it says this is FAT32. So if you have higher than 32, let's say 64 bit, uh, I mean 64 gigabyte or 128 gigabyte, it, it'll it pretty much be in uh, NTFS or EXFAT. So you're gonna have some trouble updating the BIOS. So I would recommend uh, updating the BIOS with a pen drive that should have um, not more than 32 gigs. You can also go with 8 gigs, that will be okay as well. But just to, uh, just keep in mind, you don't need more than 32 gigs because I've tested it and it didn't detect the BIOS update file. A quick little recommendation, connect your pen drive 
on the back of your computer instead of the front because if you have an older PC you might have USB 2 on the front and USB 3 or probably 3.1 on the back so I would recommend connecting it to the back of your computer and also the ports on the back are actually connected with the motherboard so it's gonna be really useful if you connect it to the back and then you're pretty much good to go and forgive me for my dusty PC I clean it like every time it just keeps getting dusty every single day <laughs> forgive me for that so after you put the file on your pen drive then just quickly um, you can restart it then you need to enter BIOS and uh, for me I usually press delete to enter BIOS but it might be different for you you can press F11, 12, F8 and try out those keys and probably probably you can enter BIOS as well and if you're still not able to go to the BIOS you can just Google around and uh, search for entering the BIOS uh, depending on your model of the motherboard so uh, now we are here on the BIOS and now what we're gonna do is use QFlash then we're gonna update BIOS right over here we're gonna press enter then locate uh, your pen drive so over here it will show wait just a second uh, it will show an SSD if you have an SSD or your hard drive and your pen drive so what you need to do is to just focus a little bit wait just a second it's kind of blurry but it's uh, the first one is my pen drive and the second is my SSD so I'm gonna select the first one and then select this one of course and then select this bad boy and just click on next oh boy okay it's gonna bear for it just be careful make sure you have proper electricity flowing or if you or like if you have a blackout or like if like the the power goes out then you're pretty much gonna break your motherboard so just be careful about that <laughs> I'm kind of scared doing these things but I have uh, updated it flashed it previously so I think it's gonna be okay so uh, okay here we go oh okay I have to click it press to start this one okay it's updating <coughs> <coughs> Man, I'm, I'm kind of scared. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I usually cough a lot if I get scared. <coughs> oh god, hopefully the electricity stays. Please don't go! Please don't go! Please don't go! Hopefully it should, it should like, pretty much flash properly. I'll do a quick time lapse for you guys. It did! Oh! It finished! Woo! <laughs> Why am I so excited? <laughs> it did it! High five, bros. High five. I don't know where everyone is, but... <laughs> I just got a high five. Oh boy, we did it. Thank God we did it. <laughs> we actually did it. There we can see the beautiful, oh it disappeared, it was the beautiful Gigabyte logo, this is no signal for some reason, there we go, it's gonna load up, oh we have updated it successfully and <laughs> wow it looks pretty cool, and so we have made it into our desk desktop. <laughs> Uh, if you want to confirm that you have updated it, you just go to DX Diagnosis again and check the model number. So for mine, um, it is now it was an F50. Now it is F51F. Yay! <laughs> that is super amazing. Also, really, really, a uh, really, really good reminder. If you have a RAM that was like uh, set it up to run at its, at, its, at its max speed then all you need to do is to go to BIOS again by restarting your computer 
going to BIOS and then changing the overclock, uh, no, I mean not overclock, I mean changing the speed back to profile XMP or XMP profile. So now you're gonna go to advanced memory setting and uh, set the extreme memory profile to profile one. So I have a 3200 megahertz DDR4 RAM, so it is running at this speed. So that's good to go. Don't forget to save and exit. Let's go to save and exit setup. Uh, save configuration and reset, yes. Oh, the wallpaper changed. <laughs> wow, it looks pretty cool. Where is it from? It's from Nuzza Pendia. Peni Penida. Okay, I love it. All right, we are back inside our desktop. That was an epic victory royale. <laughs> so that is going to be pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys with some more videos in the future. See ya. Oh. <laughs>